we used to we used to we used to call people from because you, you there's this like Joe Stevens used to have this trick where you could, he could call people from some people other people's numbers. So he would call people from Joe Silva's number and be like, "You made it to the UFC," and they'd be like, "Oh God!" and they'd be so <laughs> so happy. And then, wow. Like, and, and then Joe would call him back like, "Who the fuck's this? How'd you get this number?" <laughs> it was that's it was awesome. fucked up. But wow. that's how that's how that's how that's how easy Joe's life was. Just a phone call would, would make people make people's lives, and and then he uh, he got some sort of sick enjoyment out of abusing me, you know, like fucking <laughs> like like my the first time I was in I, I left the UFC because I got knocked out by Diego. My next fight was Anderson Silva. That's what they offered me. I'm like, why? Can you please fucking stop trying to kill me? And then yeah. he's like, he's like, because I go, I'm not finding one seven going eighty five. He goes. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. We got Anderson Silva coming. I'm like, what are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I'm, and then I'm like, I'm like, can you? I was like, okay, I'll take that. Just give me one, 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 one comeback fight. I just got knocked out the first time. He goes, not a chance. I'm like, all right. So then Strike Force was 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 uh, are you talking about me fighting Jake Shields? So I so I uh, asked for my release and they gave it to me, and um, which uh, which was good and bad, but you know, and Joe Silva like. It took me about three times to ask. He's like, yeah, fine, fuck you. You got it. You know, but yeah, I think that's uh, one of the first times people ask for a release. But... Who was managing you at this time? <laughs> Again, um, I had I had a manager, I think uh, Ken Pavia, fucking crook. I think that, <laughs> I, I know Chris knows him. <laughs> Chris was managed by the same guy. <laughs> and, but yeah, he, but again, I would, I would pick up the phone when I shouldn't, you know, but it was a, uh, it was uh, yeah. Ken Pavia is another fucking snake in the grass. Again, I, I, <laughs> I created a lot of problems for myself. It wasn't me. <laughs> Would you care to expand on that statement? Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> about about the, my manager. Oh, Pavia. Oh God, damn it! <laughs> I mean, he uh, he he would steal from me. He, I mean, I mean, I think they uh, when I uh, okay the first. The first red flag was when I signed with Strike Force. Um, he, uh, my my signing bonus went directly to him. And then, uh, and, and when I talked to Scott Coker, he's like, you know, we knew we don't give signing bonuses to the guys, but you know, it, we, we felt it. We felt it was appropriate. My like, signing bonus? What the fuck is that? And then, and then I go to Ken. I'm like, Ken, he's talking about some signing bonus. He goes, he's talking some nonsense. I'm like, okay, <laughs> makes sense. Oh, and, I believe and, you. Yeah, and because I'm at the Playboy, he goes, "Look at you, Joe. You're, you're at the main event, the Playboy Mansion." I'm like, "Yeah, can't argue those facts, you're right." <laughs> <You know? laughs> I was and jealous about I, that. 